voice is so dreamy. people them. Uh, so this is actually um, a Barbara Streisand reaction and I know there's quite a few people that have um, commented on my Barbara Streisand reaction videos and stuff and I've got a Patreon member Julian. Hey Julian! You know, I know he's a big uh, fan of Barbara as well and I think for me I'm still learning so much about this whole Barbara Streisand phenomenon that she is and one of the songs that's been in my mind that I really wanted to listen to was the one that Beyonce sang um, at the Kennedy Honours because, again, and, and not to quote too much Beyonce, but on Beyonce's latest album, Willie Nelson makes a point of saying that, you know, sometimes you don't know about an artist or you don't know about a song or anything like that until someone puts you onto them to say, oh, you need to go and check them out. And I think... That was probably the first signpost for me, bearing in mind I had never watched a movie with Barbara in it. Um, she just wasn't on my radar, which I think I've mentioned to you a few times. So watching Beyonce, who is my favourite artist, like sample, not sample, but uh, do a tribute to Barbara was a real, I guess, eye-opening thing for me. It's like, oh, Barbara's a big deal then because you're paying tribute to her. And I know for some people, they'll be like, excuse you, but I also feel like people have to work within the remits of what they're aware of before they're exposed to certain things. And, you know, I think I remember seeing a comment once from someone who said that, um, you know, if you'd, if you'd mentioned that Barbara was, uh, you know of Barbara from that film, uh, Meet the Fuckers, I think it's called, that would have been like, oh my God. And I was like, oh, do you know what though? To that person's credit, if that is their point of reference, that's not... I, well, I personally wouldn't see it as a bad thing um, because it's what is at least what starts or sparks an interest for you if you can relate that to something that you're aware of. Um, and that was probably the first thing for me. So the way you were, I would look at, like, I've never heard Barbara sing that. So that's what we're about to do, people. Oh, do I have a new cap? Yeah. <laughs> um, right then. Let's dive into this. So this is Barbra Streisand, The Way We Were. I think it's the video for it. She looks very, very glam in this. Very glam. Do it all again. Tell me, would we? 
Ah, oh, I really enjoyed that. I really, really enjoyed that. Her voice is so... It's like a magical tone to her voice. Like, it's so clear and precise, but not, like, harsh in its clarity. I mean, it's quite soft. Uh, at the same time, but then like the moment where she's got like these real powerful belts and her range is it it she's she's just so talented. Like and I know I've said that probably in the last six videos of hers I've reacted to, but again I'm I'm still new to Barbara, so it, I'm still quite amazed um, at just the, the resounding quality of her voice. Wow. And that song as well, like, the way it starts, like, I don't know if you noticed that my eyes were closed at the beginning, because I, 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 I kind of forgot that the video was on, but um, I, I, it just took me straight away. I was like, oh my gosh, like, you can just feel that just running through you, just just so soft, that humming, just, just this eloquent, beautiful humming. Then I was like, oh crap, <laughs> I need to get my eyes open. Um, I don't know what that movie's from. Is it Oz Bend at the, at the bottom? But I don't know if that's like the person who's edited the video or that's the name of the movie. Um, but I thought it was quite, they both look quite striking. Both the guy with the, with the, with the hair swift and, and Barbara as well. I think before I, I think in my head, when I heard of Barbara Streisand, I didn't really appreciate what she looked like or anything, but I think from the first video I reacted to, and obviously seeing her when Beyonce did that to uh, Kennedy on it, but she's a really attractive woman. I think she's really, like, a, I think she looks really gorgeous um, with her hair quite short like that and all curly. And, you know, in other shots that I've seen her, like when she did that duet with um, Barry Gibb, again, she looks stunning in that as well. I just think she's really, really an attractive woman. And I think her voice is just so super stellar and just conveys the emotions of that song so well. So, you know, to have someone to curate a song like this, to put together all of your previous encounters and memories with that person, what that felt like, and actually to be like, that was the way that we were. We're not there now. You know, things that you choose to forget, because I get, I guess the one thing, I've said, and I've said this on, on countless of the videos, I think the one thing that's so universal with us as humans is love and therefore it's heartbreak and to go through that and to again think about things like this this I can imagine for someone that was deeply in love with another person would be so heart-wrenching because again it, it, it starts off so warm it, it builds and and gathers all this kind of like ferocity of, of emotion. And then again, right at the end, peters out this really soft, and actually, again, it's timed really well with how then I guess she meets up again with that guy, having gone through a breakup, I imagine, like, and they just have this moment where they embrace. And I guess that thing she does where she swipes his brow is something that she's used to doing and he's used to her doing. Um, and so when he grabs her hand and then the movement for that embrace and then they let go, you know? Because again, it's, it's a great it's a great symbol for we're not we're not there anymore. It's where we were. Great memories that we choose to forget. Um, yeah, beautiful, really really beautiful song, and I really enjoyed the video as well. Um, if, if the movie is worth watching, then let me know. I love to know what that movie actually is, and yeah, like I mean, because her, her career spans such a long time. I think I've asked this in, in my previous videos, but you know, if you had to pick a favorite song, do you have one? Like, do you have a favorite song of hers? one that kind of gets your goal every time you hear it and um, any live performances you think would be really good again for me to, to, to kind of check out um again because my reaction list is so long it may not be that i get to your reaction request you know tomorrow um but i always try and get to them as soon as i can um so yeah definitely leave me your ideas in the comments below but for now thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy this then please do drop me a like and subscribe that would be amazing and i do have uh, obviously my Patreon as well, so if you do want access to videos like this um, and to join people like Julian, uh, then come on over to Patreon. It's a great way to support the channel as well. Uh, and I've just introduced a whole new tier 
So now that, you know, the economy is not great for everybody, <laughs> myself included. Um, so uh, I've just introduced like a one pound tier. So uh, for the sake of a Mars bar, because I like cake, I like, I like chocolate, I like sweets. Um, for the sake of a Mars bar, um, you could you know show your support that way, which would be amazing. I'd be so grateful for that. Um, so yeah, I'll leave that with you. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next. Oh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.